Hello, my name is Sandra Newman. I'm president and founder of REAP Financial Group here in Austin, Texas. I want to talk to you today about a topic I have found many people just are not aware. And that is, I want to talk to you about your IRAs and other qualified accounts. Um, I'm calling these IRAs a tax bomb, and I think you're going to understand why. Um, when you get through this next five minutes, I want to explain to you why your IRA, your 401k, your 403b, those qualified accounts now are probably the biggest accounts you have. They're probably your favorite accounts because they grow tax deferred, they help you at income tax time, but down the road when you turn 70 and a half there's a big surprise waiting for you and that's when that tax bomb goes off. So let me just jump in and explain what I mean and maybe give you a couple of ideas of how you can avert that tax bomb. Those type of accounts, your 403Bs, 401Ks, etc. are pre-tax accounts. You've never paid tax on those that money. Um, which is great. They're growing tax deferred and at some point Uncle Sam is going to come knocking on your door age 70 and a half and he wants his taxes. So he's going to require that you have what's called a required minimum distribution. What I want to do is take a minute and show you what that distribution looks like and how they calculate that distribution. What I want to show you is this chart. This is a hypothetical chart. This is assuming that you have hundred thousand dollars of an IRA and you're 60 years old. You can see that on the top. Age 60, principal of $100,000. I'm assuming that your IRA is growing at 5%, a nice reasonable rate of return. And I'm also making another assumption. I'm assuming that your tax rate is at 30%. Now I know most people do not have a 30% tax rate. But I also know that uh, most people believe that taxes are going up in this country. So what we're doing is we're projecting out for the next 30 years and I think we're pretty safe and maybe even a little conservative to say that your taxes could very well average 30% over the next 30 years. So let's use 30% tax rate. So we skip down to age 65. Now that IRA has grown to $127,000. Uh, now we go to age 70 and you've got an IRA worth $162,000. Now at age 70 and a half, this is where Uncle Sam knocks on your door and says we are going to require that you take a minimum distribution. It's called RMD at age 70. So what you see happening here is there is this RMD divisor. It's 27.4. 27.4 is the divisor that they use to calculate the RMD that you will need to take out at that, at that time. They believe that your life expectancy is 27.4 more years. That's how that's calculated. So we divide $162,889 by 27.4 and that gives us our RMD of $6,242 that needs to be withdrawn. Now if you're in a 30% tax bracket at that point you pay $1,873 to Uncle Sam you keep what's left, let's assume that you reinvest that, now you're paying taxes on the gain. So again, 5% taxes on 1870 or the difference between the, those two numbers, $66 a year. So we go on, now we're 75 years old, I'm skipping ahead in five year increments here, I don't want to just get too bogged down with individual years, but you notice that divisor get smaller. You have less, less years and so now you've got $7,800 RMD. You're paying $2,300 in taxes and $426 on the difference that you've reinvested between your RMD and the taxes that were paid. Now we're going to go on down. You can study this, this chart if you'd like, but I'm going to skip down to age 90 and let's just um, have you assume room temperature as they say at age 90. So now you're left with $133,000 is left in that IRA when you pass away. So if you look at the RMD that, that you've had to collect over your years, it's $201,000. The taxes that you've paid up for those 30 years have, have been $60,000 and some change. Now you've got an $18,000 paid in additional taxes. Now that $133,000, we'll assume that's going to your heirs. And you would hope that Uncle Sam would give them a pass, that they wouldn't have to pay taxes since you've already paid a lot. But no, you're, they're going to have to be uh, responsible for taxes which are going to amount to about $46,000. So there at the bottom you see the, the taxes that are coming out of that original $100,000. $60,000 
in taxes on the distribution that you had to pay, total over 30 years, 46,000 that your heirs will have to pay, 18,000 on what you reinvested from the difference. So altogether, you're talking about a total tax bill of $125,000 that will be paid on that $100,000 IRA that you own today. Folks, this is shocking to a lot of people. They just don't realize that this is the arrangement that Uncle Sam has. That uh, IRA all of a sudden does not really belong to you like you think it does when you're having to pay uh, taxes that you're required to take out. And what I have not talked about is what that does to the rest of your income. You see, this is added to your ordinary income and now you're paying more taxes on everything because of those required minimum distributions. So folks, I hope that's helped you to understand a little bit about what, what's coming. If you have one of these ticking time bombs, which is your IRA today, there's, there are some answers. There's some things that you can do to mitigate this. And, and one of those is to begin deliberately converting your existing IRA to a Roth IRA. I want to talk about that on the next video, so I hope you'll watch that. If you'd like to talk about your IRA, if you'd like to ask questions about what you've seen today, I want to direct you to our website, reapfinancial.com. Um, you should have our email and our contact information there.